I love her. Oh, looky there. Looky there, Rose. Poop coming out of his bum. Winning. That's a good thing. Your mission, should you choose to accept it as a young veterinary student, is to uh, remove the stitches from said bum from our successful assoplasty. Come on, come on. Yeah, we'll put them in the... There you go, son. Up you come. Hey, look what's in the background, folks. The world's most complete replica of Stonehenge. See it through there? See it through the gap there? How cool is that? Life size. This skate's pretty rad. Check out how the skate works, team. Alrighty. What's a little heifer? She's the one, the one that we have here. Oh, yep. There you go, 200. That's Mama. This is a little orphan Annie. Come on, babe. Come on, babe. Up you come. Up you come. There you go. Come on, little mate. Yeah, so you can see the little strings hanging there. Um, Rose? You wanna run this, brother? Okay. You can have a feel. You can throw it in feel hunky dory. So the two supers. So the key to be when you put your stitches in, you work it like in a first string all the way around and then back at the bottom and then tie them at the bottom together and then leave strings long enough so you can exteriorize the knot and then you can cut just one side of the knot and then all that will come out. So I'm feeling up inside there. Um, it looks pretty firm. He's not pushing on it, so hopefully that's all stitched down. So pretty sure if you it's want a week today, isn't it? Yeah. It was a Monday, yeah. If you want to come in and come in where Andrew is, then Andrew can come around here from the side. So you want to uh, pull on those sutures, pull on those sutures so you can exteriorize the knot, and then just snip one side of the knot, and then that way when you pull, the, the string will come around the other side. And you can turn that handle, that scalpel around, stick it inside the scalpel handle, like get a, get a vision of this. Oh, like, oh sorry. <laughs> and then stick it in, stick it in the handle. Backwards, yeah, that's right. And then wrap the tin foil around it. You got yourself a handy dandy scalpel handle. Kind of. Just don't cut yourself. Wait. Yes. You beauty, I just rolled it up. That's why. Disposable scalpel handle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. <clears throat> See, he's pushing, pushing. And when he pushes, is he pushing his ring? That doesn't appear to be to me, so I think, look, if, if it pops back out, we can put another first ring in, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it stays in, because if we leave it in there long, it just end, end up getting a bit of a stricture formation. So see how you pull it? When you pull hard, you'll see one side of the knot, and then snip one side of the knot, Rose. Well, we can't see this. We'll just, we'll just imagine we know what you're doing. Hang on a second. Go around to the other side. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Today on Recto Vision. It's a direct, the director. Let me, just get, let me get some poo out of the way for you so you can see what's going on. Yep. So just one side of that knot. Yep. So you can see the knot there. And then you want to try to get in between the two sections of the knot and just cut one side. If you cut them both, then you got to go hunting. Right. You, you comfortable? Feeling good? Yeah, so okay. like there's yep. two sides. Oops, so get in between it. That's the way. Snip and then snip one. Nice. And then pull. Pull, 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 pull. Nice. <laughs> Winning. Super Rose, you graduate. Yeah. Uh, that student, Mur <laughs> high five. That student Murdoch, four years more to go, and then come back to work for us probably. Hopefully. Found him out so we can go back out. Now that we've put this bum back where it needs to be, let's go check out Stonehenge. <laughs> Pretty rad, huh? No drones, please. No yeah, animals. Yeah, except the cows. Huge effort by Kimmy to do all this. Huge. Yeah. Farmer ingenuity. 
got to get rid of the microphone. This is going to be blowing badly. <laughs> My mate Aiden and Lily got married in here. Really? I think they might have been the first people to get married in it. It's awesome. Well, you have to run it past Gussels. Yeah, and then the acoustics in here yeah, are phenomenal. That's crazy. It's got a real kind of spiritual feel to it for sure. So these are all locally quarried from across the road. And there's a dude in Margaret River that was going to build it in Margs. And then the GFC pineappled them and they had all the, the piles of stones just sitting just over there. And they're like, oh, bloody hell, what are you going to do with them? And uh, Kimmy, because he knew him, he's like, oh, yeah. So he tried to get Rotary to do it. And they all talked about it like, oh, yeah. And then they decided, oh, too hard. And Kim's like, no, oh, it's a good thing. And they're like, oh, too hard. And he goes, Margaret, yeah, I'll do it myself. And he did, which is just unbelievable. Like, he's going to be here a long time. Like, the amount of concrete underneath these stones is ridiculous. Is that what happened with the real one? Yeah, probably. <laughs> cool beans. Pretty red. Do you want to, I'll grab your camera. I'll get a picture of you on there. Uh, Hang on. All right, guys, that's us. See ya. That's Stonehenge. This is where Andrew runs some cows. Sorry, fixed the bum. What do you reckon? Pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs>